Que tú dices, Nala. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us. Uh, lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are the woman, woman, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, you pray for us sinners, now at the hour of the day. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are the woman, woman, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, you pray for us sinners, now at the hour of the day. Amen. Glory be to the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, as it was with the non-national God without end. Amen. நீங்க போதும் ஏசப்பா உங்கள் சமூகம் எனக்கப்பா நீங்க போதும் ஏசப்பா உங்கள் சமூகம் எனக்கப்பா எத்தனை இன்பமே உந்தன் சமூகமே தனை இன்பமே உந்தன் சமூகமே உள்ளமும் உடலுமே என்ன தாய் ஏன்புதே எத்தனை இன்பமே உந்தன் சமூகமே உள்ளமும் உடலுமே நீங்கள் போதும் ஏசப்பா உங்கள் சமூகம் எனக்கப்பா புது பலன் தருகிறி புது எண்ணெய் பொழுகி கணிதரும் மரங்களா செல்லி தூங்க செய்கிறி கணிதரும் மரங்களா செல்லி தூங்க செய்கிறி நீங்க போதும் ஏசப்பா உங்க சமூகம் எனக்கப்பா அப்பா உம் சந்நிதியில் எப்போ நான் வந்து நிற்பேன் அப்பா உம் சந்நிதியில் எப்போ நான் வந்து நிற்பேன் திருமுதும் கண்டு நான் திருபாதையில் மூழ்குவேன் திருமுதம் கண்டு பாதையில் மூழ்குவே நீங்க போதும் ஏசப்பா உங்க சமூகம் எனக்கப்பா நீங்க போதும் ஏசப்பா உங்க சமூகம் எனக்கப்பா Praise the Lord. Today, we are going to, in this Lenten season, we are asking great grace. If you look into this Acts of Apostles, chapter 4, Acts of Apostles, Chapter 
chapter 4 verse 33 with a great power the apostles gave their testimony to the resurrection of the lord jesus and great grace was upon them all my dear people of god if you look into the old testament joshua's family also was in great grace and Noah got great grace of God. If you have everything, you will, will you praise God? If you have everything, you have a car, you have own house, you have everything to eat, whatever you want, everything you have, but you will not praise God. Why? Because God is given everything. Why I have to praise God? My dear people of God, if you see Acts of Apostles chapter 4 verse 33 clearly says, With the great power of the apostles gave their testimony to the resurrection of the Lord. Jesus and great grace was upon them all. Before the resurrection of the Christ, Jesus Christ, they had great grace upon them. That is what the word of God says today. The topic is great grace. If you see Joshua, he was one of the in the Old Testament, he found the place in the Old Testament where God's grace was upon his family. That's why he was a very richest person in that olden days. And the devil went to Jesus, the God the Father, and asked, he is very enjoying, Joshua is enjoying his grace and blessings. I want to destroy. Then Lord God the Father said, Go and test him. He will never leave me. In the Joshua chapter verse, chapter 1 verse 9 says, Stand firmly in God. So many tests he had. A wife spit on, her, on his face even though he did not leave God. He was strictly stand firmly in God. That's why he is great grace upon his family. Noah also got great grace of God. Why? When the ship went in the water, 40 days flood, Again, the God's grace was there. That's why Noah came down on this ground. He was floating up in the water. And he came down. The ship has come down. The ship stands down. And ship landed on the ground. And where the plenty of dead bodies was there. But Noah did not die. He did not die. His family was blessed. The grace of God was there. Today, I stand in front of you is the grace of God. So many of tents I have. So many problems I have. But even though I praise God. Why? Because one day or the other day, God will bless me. God's grace will come upon me. I am thirsty in God's grace, my dear people of God. God said, Adam and Eve, not to eat fruit. After sin, God came searching. They have done a mistake. After that, if you see in the book of Genesis, they have sinned. 
they got punished and god was seeing them the father has seen and he stitched stitched the goats bodies flush and he covered their body where it will not get torn they were in the leaf the leaf will fall down the field the leaf will dry and come down it will fall down but god gave the skin of the animal and covered the human beings he punished and he blessed the grace of a god was there if they sin if you you and me sin also god's grace is upon us my dear people of god if you see in the book of mika chapter 7 verse 8 what it says mika do not rejoice over me o my enemy when i fall i shall rise when i sit in darkness the lord will be a light to me see how great god is ours in mika chapter 7 verse 8 clearly speaks to you do not rejoice over me on my enemy when i fall i shall rise when i sit in darkness the lord will be a light to me today we may be there sitting in the darkness the death's darkness the death brought from the devil but god's grace will come upon you and your problems will get into solve according to the mika chapter 7 verse 8 if you see in the book of isaiah chapter 43 and 25 isaiah chapter 43 43 and 25 Here the God says the word beautiful sentence for us. I am he. I I am he who blots out your transgression for my own sake and I will not remember your sins. God says I will not remember your sin. when you confess your sin there after your son sins will be not counted and god will not remember your sin and his grace will come upon you and me if you see in the sam the book of sam 3816 if you see what god says in 30 for i pray only do not let them rejoice over me those who boast against me when my foot slips in the 18 verse i confess my iniquity i am sorry for my sin confess when you confess your sins god forgives our sin and god wipes away our iniquity my dear people of god if you see in sam 145 sam 145 145 sam 145 verse 8 old the lord is gracious and merciful slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love see our god is gracious and merciful our god is gracious and merciful to us our god is merciful my dear people of god you must understand why he is merciful if he has not end of the cross uh, this mercy will not come upon us 
He's blessed us through the cross. Now we will look into Hebrews chapter 8 verse 12. Hebrews chapter 8 verse 12. For I will be merciful toward their iniquities and I will remember their sins no more. God says, when you confess your sin, no more I will remember your sin. Our God says that word, my dear people of God. Confess to your God. Then he will not remember your sins. God speaks in Hebrews chapter 8 verse 12 clearly says, I will remember their sins no more. No more you will remember our sins. If you see in the book of Genesis chapter 22 verse 2. Genesis chapter 22. He said, take your son, your only son Isaac, whom you love, and go to the Lord, land of Moray, and offer him. There is a burnt offering, and no one on the mountains that I shall show you. That is what God says. No more pain. No more suffering. No more pain for you. No more suffering for you. God is merciful. God will bless. My dear people of God, see today, we are in this Lenten season. We should know the grace of God. This is the grace period. The grace of God is upon us. Our God is blessed us. Our God is wipes away every sin. Our iniquities. He will never remember our sins, my dear people of God. We have to understand. We always, we are human beings, we do sin more and more. But one day a time comes that Lord will, when you confess, the Lord will never remember your sins. According to Hebrews chapter 8 verse 12 says, For I will be merciful toward, toward their iniquities and I will remember their sins no more. I will remember their sins no more. No more you will remember your sins, my dear people of God. Confess your sins. Ask the Lord to forgive our sins. The Lord will definitely bless us. In the mighty name of Jesus we pray. Amen. O oh Lord Jesus Christ, you have helped us. We have in this sorrow, in this Lenten season, we are in the Lenten season. We are in the grace time. We know, Lord, you will pour out your grace upon us. Your grace and merciful always be with us. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen.